Hi there, welcome to our SolidWorks tutorial. Today it's on rectangles. Um, SolidWorks has five different types of rectangles, so let's jump straight in. Uh, you can find the rectangle tool just under the line tool um, in the sketch commands. So I'm going to click it there, and I'm going to click front plane and click normal to. Okay, so as you can see now in the selection manager, we have five different types of rectangle. We have the corner rectangle, we have the center rectangle, three point corner, three point center, and a parallelogram. Okay, so the corner rectangle, it uh, we have two anchor points basically. So if I click and drag, and um, we can see that we can manipulate the rectangle to any way that we want. So I'm just going to click and release it there. And there we go. It already adds the horizontal and vertical relations for us. Makes it nice and easy. Okay, so we're going to jump to the second type, which is the centre rectangle. SolidWorks will keep the most recent entity sketched uh, highlighted. So when we go to uh, create a second entity, it will always link back to that first one, if required. So I've selected the centre rectangle, and you can see now that it's saying that the start of it is going to be... Uh, horizontal to the bottom of the rectangle you can see that that's going to be at the midpoint of it and that's going to be at the upper horizontal of it so I am going to drag down to the midpoint and I'm going to click and then I'm going to drag it down and out and you can see that we have created a rectangle that's going to be at the same height as our previous one now if we just right click and click select to exit the rectangle tool you can see that this has some dashed lines in it. Now these dashed lines here are uh, construction lines. Uh, SolidWorks will display them, however it will not act upon them. So if you go to uh, extrude or if you go to create a feature with a sketch, it won't use those entities to act upon the feature. So it's pretty good for um, it's pretty good for setting parameters and fixing your sketches so they become fully defined so if we press escape I'll give a quick demonstration as to why this is advantageous if we click and drag at the center you can see that it wants to snap to uh, the horizontal of the origin and if I go over you can see now that it is fixed to the origin and if I select one of the points uh, we can't move it even if I select a line we can't move it even if I select a construction line, it's fixed. So that's really handy for us when creating geometrically sound sketches. And I can illustrate the same with this. If I click and drag there, it's fixed. So it's not exactly where I want it to be. And you can see that all four lines and all four corners are moving, which you may want. But if you want a little bit more rigidity in your sketching, then it's definitely the center rectangle. Okay, so we're going to then go on to the three point corner rectangle. And that is basically as it is. You can draw the three point corner rectangle on an angle, like so. Or what you can do as well, you can draw it so it is horizontal and vertical. So I can draw it across. So you draw the well, the height of it, and then you can draw the width of it like so. Uh, the three-point corner doesn't come with any construction geometry. It only comes with the perimeter geometry of the rectangle. And then three-point center rectangle. You can imagine how this is going to come out. So we've got our midpoint there. And if I click down, it's going to be the same height. And if I click out, you can see that we can give it a width and you can see that it has construction geometry so then I can drag this and I can snap it to an origin or I can snap it to any other uh, geometry in the sketch okay and last but not least we have a parallelogram really nice and simple you draw the uh, bottom line click and then you can drag it up and then you can drag it up to an angle uh, and to a specific height and you can drag it down to the right you can drag it down to the left you can position it anywhere so I'm going to drag it there and the parallelogram doesn't come with any construction geometry it just comes with the four outer perimeter lines 
Uh, well, I hope this has been uh, helpful for you. Uh, just a very brief overview of the uh, rectangle tool. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or any requests, then feel free to drop them in the comments box. Uh, otherwise, feel free to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you can find us at facebook.com forward slash ma77design and it's the same on Twitter, twitter.com ma77design. Uh, take care out there. Thanks.